Determine where the roller straps will be located on the door. On the back of the roller strap, measure down an inch and seven eighths from the outside diameter of the roller and mark this location. Measure from this line to the center of one of the fastener holes. Transfer this measurement onto the door. Pre-drill the hole for the fastener and align the roller strap and fasten to the door. Be sure the roller strap is square to the door and in proper location before pre-drilling the other fastener hole. Proper location of the roller strap will allow the rail to pass between the roller and the top of the door with a 3 32nd inch gap in between. Router a quarter inch wide by half inch groove centered in the bottom of the door. To calculate the center position of the rail, add the height of the door plus your desired gap between the floor and bottom of the door, typically a quarter inch, plus one and an eighth inch. This will give you the center of the rail where the rail mounting lag screws will go. Using a level, mark where the center of the rail will be located on the trim board. On the rail, mark the position of the brackets. Using the bracket as a drill guide and a 5 16 inch drill bit, drill the clearance holes in the aluminum rail for the fastener brackets. Remove any burrs created by drilling these holes in the rail. Pre-drill the holes for the lag screws to attach the rail brackets to the trim header. Slide the brackets onto the rail and using the lag screws, mount the rail to the trim header. Mount the door onto the rail. Position the door in the closed position to determine the location of the door stop. Mark the position of the door stop and using the 5 16 inch drill bit, drill the clearance hole for the bolt used to fasten the door stop to the rail. Use the same procedure to attach the door stop for the opened position of the door. Mark the position on the floor for the floor guide. Guide should be hidden under the door and in contact with the door in the fully closed and fully opened positions. Secure the floor guide to the floor. For cement floor applications, pre-drill a quarter inch hole, install a plastic insert, and screw the floor guide to the floor. Attach the doorstop, which stops the door, in the fully opened position. <laughs> 